you're probably like, what are you doing on a boat right now? And right now we are taking a ferry to one of the hottest spots, not only in Helsinki, but in Finland in general. And it is supposed to be absolutely stunning. If you don't know, Helsinki has a lot of archipelagos. And currently we are on a boat to go visit one of the most important islands around Helsinki. Let's do it. Okay, we've made it to Suminlena. Suminlena. And we made it. It was only a really quick 15, 20 minute ferry ride and we're here. And it was so scenic, so it just went by like that. This is exciting. This is such a easy half day trip or a day trip away from the mainland, Helsinki. The biggest reason to come here is for a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but also you can walk around this area and explore, which is what we're going to do. All right, let's go. Yeah, as soon as we got off the dock, there's a restaurant and brewery. Uh, well, we're done for for today then. Yeah, let's just go there. No. Have some fun. <laughs> so when you arrive by ferry, the best way to tour everything is to follow the blue route. And the blue route is shown on the maps and it will take you by all of the historical places that you need to see here. For example, like this church behind me. This church was built as a Russian Orthodox garrison church in 1854, but it was converted into a Lutheran church when Finland retook over this island. And a fun fact about this church is that it's also a lighthouse, and you see at the top, and the light will flash four times because in Morse code that signifies H for Helsinki. Super cool. Also, I, what kind of birds are these? These look and sound kind of like geese, but don't look completely like geese. And there's a baby one. So cute. <laughs> And once again, it is another beautiful day in Finland. No clouds in the skies. A tiny bit chilly in the shade and the wind, but very good weather. Okay, we just walked through and it pointed to a sign that said the library. But when we walked down here, it was like stepping back in time. Super, super unique. I'm just surprised there's not a lot of people here, but we thought the same thing for Helsinki. <laughs> I guess we're just used to a lot of people. And it's really cool to have a tourist experience with so much peace and quiet. It's unique. So, this might be a good time to talk about the history of this fortress. This is the Suomenlinna Fortress, and it was built by the Swedes in 1758. But in 1808, when the Russians took over the Swedish territory, the Russians had occupied this territory for over, I think, 100 years. But then, when Finland won its independence back from Russia in 1917, it's been in Finnish hands ever since, and it was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1991. And in 1963, the military left, and this place became habitable. So now there's over 850 residents on this entire higher island and even like we just walked into the fortress and I believe these two buildings right here have turned into housing so it's very very cool and it's very interesting because they've also kept a lot of the history here very very unique we highly recommend this if you come to Helsinki so many flowers I love flowers they make me happy there's yellow flowers purple flowers just it's flowering over here <laughs> Where we keep our prisoners. So up here <laughs> is like the more they have more military history up here, and they have the old cannons. I also believe that these specific bunkers were used during World War II more as like watch points, but that I do not know. But I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. This has just been such an amazing experience. It has. This is so cute and charming and beautiful. And like unique. I couldn't, I couldn't even imagine living here, but I also couldn't even imagine knowing someone that lived here. I know. Or it still lives here, maybe. Like just like all the gravel roads, the rock. The historic buildings at every turn. It's so fascinating. It's literally like someone just threw you into a small town in Sweden in like the 1800s. And then, like Sweden? Oh yeah, oh, I guess. Shit. Well, technically, well no, it was Russia technically, but whatever, Finland, Sweden, Russia. It's just so unique. Also, there's a glass studio right here. I can oh. hear something going on. Oh. 
Oh, well, that was neat. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> she got to see some glass being blown. Yeah, and, and like, I did it. up at the perfect timing. I know, and I didn't even record it, but like she was like flinging it, and it looked like <laughs> it was just gonna come straight at us. We took a little lunch stop. There's a bunch of cafes spread throughout the little island, so we chose Cafe Silo, but it had some good sandwich and salad options, and also so many yummy desserts. But we might hop to another cafe after to try a different one to get a dessert or a coffee. Too many options. Coffee and dessert? Yeah, I think we have to. It's so interesting. <laughs> it's so interesting that this city is just like, it's a city. It's not just a tourist site. It's like a little island city and I love it. Now let's go to another cafe <laughs> and get dessert and a coffee. Favorite hour. This is a needed time of the day. Something different in Finland that I don't know if we talked about yesterday. The sun sets here at like 11.56, something like that. And it rose this morning at 3.55. And that's just in Helsinki. When we go up north, it's gonna be less darkness. So yeah, last night I didn't sleep very well. <laughs> so he needs this coffee. This is the biggest coffee ever. So we're at Cafe Vanille, which we walked past it earlier and I really wanted to come back here for a sweet treat because first of all, the building's pink and it's so charming. It's known for having a lot of dessert and ice cream and coffees. So I really like this style and it's the perfect place to get some dessert. And I got a slice of the rhubarb pie, or sorry, rhubarb cake. I'm thinking like an American <laughs> with ice cream. And at home, I love strawberry rhubarb pie. So I'm excited to see, to try rhubarb here because it's not very common. I got a berry pie and then she asked me if I wanted vanilla. Once again, cake. I don't know, blueberry cake pie, whatever. And it looks like they gave me some vanilla sauce and I wonder how sweet this is or if it's like a really, it looks like a pudding. Oh my God, it is. Wow. Come wow. on. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Blueberries, every favorite type of berry that I've ever had. That's made for you. With some ice cream. Mm. No, that's amazing. It has these like little crisps on top. It has a rhubarb. It does look like a pie dough. It like, does. Right? But it's made like a cake. Whatever these sugar crisps are at the top are so incredible. I've actually never had rhubarb without the strawberry, but it's a really good flavor. I like this. Yum. That concludes our day in Suolamena. Suolamena. Anyway, tomorrow we have another day planned in Finland and it's going to be great, but it's not actually in Helsinki. So comment below where you think we're going and we will see you in the next one. Ciao. Kitos.